Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz, GuitarJams.com. I'm going to teach you kind of a little bluesy, acoustic blues technique. So what we want to do is go drop D. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this open D string here. And then I'm going to hit my low E string and lower it to the D. Here's what I'm going to do, I kind of cup the strings a little bit. To... So it's definitely going to be a, 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 a wrist, a lot of wrist action. And I'm going to go like this. I'm going to hit the open E the whole time, or now it's the drop D. And I'm going to be index on the third fret of the A. And so when I hammer down my ring finger onto the fifth of the A, I've got the low string with it. So then I'm going to pull off the third fret of the D as I'm blasting through it. See that? So you can just, I improvise it a bit, but we're going to go fifth pull off, third pull off on the low string. So what do we need? We need... So what you do, this is just kind of like a blues turnaround. Uh, now that we're in drop D, chord, power chords just look a little different, but so I'm covering the fifth fret of the, of the sixth and the fifth string. Down a whole step. So there's a couple cool little chords that you can do, you know, while that's pedaling, that, that low D sound. And you can play a D chord. Then the shape of a D minor up a whole step. You can strum the whole guitar. Then up another whole step with that same shape. Back down. D9 chord you can play, or a D7. The low D in there still. And then a delicious D13 chord, which looks like this. Middle finger on the third fret of the B. 
pinky on the fourth fret of the G, ring finger on the fourth fret of the D, index on the third fret of the A with the low D in there still. Mm -hmm. 